Greetings, everyone. I'm Wendy Leaving, the Assistant Dean for the Regulatory Affairs and Quality Assurance Graduate Program of Temple University School of Pharmacy. Since 1996, the Dean of the School of Pharmacy, the REQA staff, and I have had the pleasure of meeting our graduates in May or June to congratulate them on receiving a Master of Science degree from our school. Though COVID-19 forced us to cancel our traditional ceremony and luncheon this year, we created this video narrative to celebrate the 90 individuals who received a Master of Science in Regulatory Affairs and Quality Assurance, Global Clinical and Pharmacovigilance Regulations, or Pharmaceutical Science. Welcome to our virtual celebration. We begin our festivities with opening remarks from Dr. Jayanth Panyam, who was appointed Dean of our Pharmacy School in November 2019, coming from the College of Pharmacy at the University of Minnesota, where he taught pharmaceutical science and pursued research in the mechanisms of nanotechnology-based anti-cancer drug delivery. Welcome, Dean Panyam. Dear graduates of the RAQA GCPR and Pharmaceutical Sciences programs, Welcome to the virtual diploma ceremony for non-thesis graduate programs at the Temple University School of Pharmacy. Congratulations to you for the job well done. Today is the day you've all been looking forward to. It's a day of joy, a day of celebration, a day that marks an important milestone in your life. You worked really hard for this day. I realized that this virtual celebration was not what you had in mind when you signed up for the graduate program. Well, neither did any of us 12 weeks ago. Today is also a day for reflection. The world has changed and is continuing to change right in front of our eyes. Our way of life, places where we go to school, play and work, and how we interact with others may not be what they were just a few weeks ago. Many of you already work in the pharmaceutical industry or aspire to do so soon. We know that all of you already have very demanding jobs. The COVID-19 pandemic has put additional pressure on your professional as well as personal lives. Despite these overwhelming challenges and the fear of unknown, you've succeeded. You've reached your goal of graduating. The challenges you and I face today remain, but there is hope. To quote Maya Angelou, no sun outlasted sunset, but will rise again and bring the dawn. As you reflect on your role in the society and your career, I'm sure you will realize that your desire to help others and make a positive impact on your community, city, state, and the country has not changed. Our commitment to support you in your quest to make a difference remains stronger than ever. As you start this new chapter in your life, I would like to remind you that you'll always be an important part of the Stu SP family. Please let us know how you're doing and visit us whenever you can. Congratulations once again, graduates. Thank you, Dean Panyam. I know our graduates, their families, and friends appreciate your kind remarks. I'm very pleased to introduce our keynote speaker. Since its beginnings in 1968, our program has had a strong relationship with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, including the Center for Drug Evaluation and Research, or CEDAR, and the Philadelphia District Office. The FDA has provided lecturers and instructors for our courses and participated in numerous special events such as our 50th anniversary celebration. Between October last year and February this year, the FDA invited faculty of the RAQA graduate program to present a series of webinars to the FDA's Bioresearch Monitoring Division 1 on hot topics in U.S. and global clinical trials. The driving force behind this successful collaboration is our keynote speaker, Ann Johnson, who is director of the FDA Philadelphia office and also director of the Bio Research Monitoring Division 1. Please welcome Ann Johnson. Hello, graduates, family, friends, faculty, and staff of Temple University School of Pharmacy RAQA program. Without a doubt, in the span of a few short months, everything as we know it has undergone drastic change. If anyone had told us in January that we would be where we are today, most of us would not have given it a minute's mind. Fast forward 
And here we are learning how to live through a pandemic, COVID-19. Face coverings, gloves, and hand sanitizers are as important as carrying driver's licenses, keys, and bank cards wherever we go. We have experienced disruptions in work, in travel, shopping, and schooling. Our dining room tables have become school desks and workstations. And we, along with our children, are all amateur experts in Zoom and video conferencing. It hasn't been easy though. Some of us have suffered tragedies of lost loved ones and friends, or know of those who've been fortunate enough to recover. Compounding that, our nation is injured today, wrestling with the recent tragic killing of a fellow American named George Floyd, which has unleashed a strong outpouring of frustration, anger, and urgent calls for change some peaceful and some not. Why do I mention all of this today? Because while we cannot and should not ignore the struggles in current events, we must also discover what is good, what is true, what is right, and what is honest. Today, we must fight to celebrate milestones. We have to fight to stay encouraged and engaged and even to pause long enough to find a moment to look someone genuinely in the eye and say, good job, I'm proud of you. This is what brings us here today. I am Ann Johnson, Director of FDA's Philadelphia Office, and I'm honored to join you through this virtual celebration. It would have been even better in person, but at least I have the chance to be a part of this very special moment with you and your families. To the Dean and Assistant Dean, thank you for inviting me to say a few words. So to the 2020 graduating class, years ago, you made a decision to enter this program and through it, you learned various principles and built a strong foundation in regulatory and quality affairs. You applied yourself, you stretched yourself, and hopefully during the process, you found new ways to incorporate what you have learned into your daily responsibilities, blazing a trail on the leading edge of research and development, manufacturing and quality, safety and efficacy, monitoring through surveillance and pharmacovigilance efforts, and you finished it in a pandemic. As leaders in the industry, more now than ever, we need you. There are real world issues affecting all of us here at home. You are the very ones the people of the world are looking to for hope and an exit out of the most significant public health crisis of our lives. So make it happen. Each of you holds a piece to the answer and some of the questions haven't even been asked yet. If anything, the last few months have shown you that you have the ability to bend, to flex, to adapt, to pivot and persevere to make things happen. You always had everything you needed to take the next step and you made it happen. You finished. Unleash your creativity and your innovative intelligence again and rise to the next challenge. Find a way to make things happen. Technology is pushing advances in personalized medicine. CRISPR is opening new doors. Immunotherapies are here to stay. And yes, even the regulatory side has to keep up but you are part of the answer. You are part of the next breakthrough discovery. You are a part of the change and no one can do you like you do. So be present and speak up. Your ideas, your skills, your knowledge and your perspectives are needed. Your contributions are important right now where you are. Remember why you started this program in the first place? You did it to make a difference in one way or another. Remember that and realize that even your reasons have changed and grown as you have changed and grown. So today, I don't just say make a difference, be the difference and make it happen. Dear graduates, congratulations. We salute you and we applaud your accomplishments today. And so it is my pleasure to look you in the eye and genuinely say, good job. You made it. Now be the difference and make it happen. Thank you. Thank you, Anne, for such an inspiring speech. 
Our graduates always enjoy your participation in our diploma ceremonies. This year, our virtual celebration enables all of our students and graduates to participate with their families, regardless of their location. Let's take a quick look at where our graduates are located. During the past few months, all of us have seen many maps depicting COVID cases throughout the United States and world. But the maps you're about to see now will demonstrate the reach of our graduate programs. Our 90 graduates come from 14 states and Puerto Rico. But during their course of study, our graduates took classes with hundreds of students from 35 different states in Puerto Rico. In addition, our current graduates come from six countries around the world. But during their course of study, our graduates took classes with students from 10 other nations attesting to the extending global reach of School of Pharmacy graduate programs. We turn our focus to Singapore, home of two of our graduates. In 2009, we partnered with the Department of Pharmacy at the National University of Singapore to offer a four-course certificate in pharmaceutical manufacturing, delivering our RAQA courses through video conferencing. After completing this certificate, two of our NUS students were motivated to take eight additional courses to earn the MS and RAQA. For these two students, we have a special message from Professor Chen Sui Yang from the National University of Singapore. Hi, good day to everyone. Congratulations to the graduates of the Temple University RAQA graduate program. Special heartiest congratulations goes to the two students from Singapore, Su Ming Xiong, Aaron, and Chen Du Duan, on this very significant step in your professional careers. You join 250 students from Singapore who have completed this program since 2009. I also wish to add. My best wishes to the rest of the graduates, your families, and my dear friends, Professor Peter Dukas, Professor Wendy LeBing, your family members, and your staff, Patricia, Dave, Michael, and the others. May I wish you long life, many better tomorrows, and blessings from above. Thank you. Congratulations again. Sui Young, our deepest thanks to you for honoring our students from NUS and for everything you did to make the NUS and Temple Partnership such a success for nearly a decade. We also send you and all our friends in Singapore our warmest wishes for good health, much happiness, and many blessings. Dear graduates, as you view the next slides, which include images of the RAQA, Pharmaceutical Science, and GCPR master's programs, I ask you to think back to the beginning of your graduate school journey. When did you start one of our programs? Perhaps it was two or three years ago, but for some of you, it may have been five years or more. Some of you may have been forced to stop and return several times due to the demands of your career or family issues or life milestones such as marriage or the birth of a child, or perhaps it was military or public health service deployment or health issues that came in the way. What motivated you to take that first graduate course? Did you attend an information session at one of our open house events? Or did you attend another REQA event, such as our career night or the 50th anniversary celebration? Where were you when you first started? Were you already working in industry? Or did you hope one of our degrees would open a pathway to do so? If you were in industry, were you in the same position and company? Perhaps when you started, your company had a different name. Or perhaps that company no longer exists since it merged with another. Or perhaps you switch jobs and companies several times. Perhaps even the name of the program you were studying changed. 
You have pursued your MS degree in an era of flux, witnessing mergers, downsizing, cost savings, and now a tremendous push and expansion to resolve the COVID pandemic. Those who work in the pharmaceutical, biotechnology, and medical device industries learn quickly that career paths may take sudden and unexpected turns. Think back again. Are you still working with the same people? Is that supervisor or colleague or friend who encouraged you to pursue a graduate course still there? Or are you working with an entirely new group? How many changes did you witness as you pursued your degree? And what kept you going on the days you thought, why am I doing this? Every one of you had to complete 30 or more credits to earn your master's. Every course consisted of 36 hours of class meetings with readings, assignments, discussions, presentations. Many people start graduate programs, but only those with stamina and determination keep going and finish. While many of you were juggling challenging work schedules, I'm sure each one of you dealt with some life trauma. For instance, Two of our graduates dealt with the effects of two catastrophic hurricanes in late August, early September 2017. One lived in Texas during Hurricane Harvey, a Category 4 storm that caused over $125 billion in damage. Our student was relatively new to our program when Harvey hit. Though her immediate area had mild flooding, she offered to take in a family of strangers who had lost nearly everything to Harvey. Somehow she managed to juggle work, her own family, plus another family living in her home, and also complete an RAQA course. Another graduate from Puerto Rico lived through Hurricane Maria, a Category 5 storm, which she described as apocalyptic. Her area was left with no water, no electricity, and it was over a week before she was able to travel three hours to another part of the island so she could contact her sister to let her know that she and her parents were safe. But in the same phone call, she asked her sister to please contact her REQA instructors to let them know that she still intended to complete a course that semester. Wow. Some students pursued two degrees at the same time, such as the four graduates who earned the Master of Science in Global Clinical and Pharmacovigilance Regulations. They were in their third year of pharmacy school, pursuing the very demanding Doctor of Pharmacy degree when they decided to take RAQA electives in clinical trial issues. During summers and their fourth year of pharmacy school, they carried a really heavy course load during rotations in various clinical sites for the PharmD, while also pursuing RAQA graduate courses in pharmacovigilance. And let us not forget our students who left their homes in Asia or Africa or Europe or the Middle East or South America to study our programs, leaving families and friends behind for months or years. Several had hoped their spouses, children, parents, or other relatives would travel here to attend this diploma ceremony in person. But COVID quickly changed those plans. Yes, everyone who took a course this spring or is receiving their degree this May had to deal with the impact of COVID on every aspect of life, whether it was working from home, teaching children at home, worrying about elder parents or other vulnerable loved ones, seeing a loved one ill, but some of our graduates from foreign nations lived here in complete social isolation since they were unable to return home at all when all flights were canceled. Why did you do this? Temple University School of Pharmacy is more than a place to earn a degree. You are now a part of the 50 plus year history of the RAQA graduate program, which continues to be unsurpassed in the depth, range, and quality of its academic offerings in the field. You have become one of the more than 2,600 graduates who work for and lead the regulated pharmaceutical, biopharmaceutical, medical device, and affiliated industries or government agencies. 
during your course of study. The REQA staff was always there to help you with navigating your degree program, regardless of your location or time zone, providing you with the needed administrative and technical assistance. You learn from nearly a hundred faculty who are subject matter experts in industry and FDA. The curriculum of 80 plus courses they offered provided you with an amazing and timely body of knowledge that will serve you well in your future endeavors. They challenged you to think outside the box and spurred your desire to learn more. We're proud that you earned a degree from our school and look forward to learning about your future career accomplishments. Let us now view pictures of all of our graduates who earned one of our master's degrees during the past year.
I sincerely wish you the warmest congratulations and thank you for being a student and now a graduate of one of our programs. We hope you will keep in touch, telling us of your life transitions and career transitions and your path ahead. Also, I hope some of you will consider returning to teach in our program and imparting the most valuable gift to the next generation, which is a love of knowledge and an enthusiasm to learn more. Thank you again.